Okay, so can you tell me what is in this bag? This is the paddle board. And what are we doing? We are camping for my birthday. We've come off on foot to find a swimming spot. Um, just walking through these like marshy, marshy wetland bits. And we're never on foot, are we? No, it's a lot slower. Yeah, it's a lot <laughs> slower. But I like, um, obviously we all almost always on bikes. And I love that because it's still a slow way of traveling compared to, you know, like flying or um, getting buses and trains. But then when you walk and you slow down even more, you just, you take so much more in. And um, I really like that. You know, you just kind of feel absorbed in everything that you're going through. No rush, nice and easy. I'm gonna get treated with a nice cold dip in hopefully about five minutes. This is my last swim as a 28 year old. And then the year of maturity comes. <laughs> my last year of my 20s comes. Right. Okay. Your highlight from 28. Oh, I don't know. That's a big one. What, uh, what, it doesn't have to be the highlight, but just a highlight. Right for the world. Yeah. Definitely one of them. Like doing that was definitely one of them. Um, oh, I don't know. There's so many. Like. Yeah. And one, one, eight, one, like big aim for. 29. For 29. Um, to leave the Schengen area. My bike with me. <laughs> with me. Good swim? Yeah, really, really refreshing. There's lots of reeds, but they're a bit shorter than other ones, sort of towards the edges. And then you're kind of swimming quite casually until one of them like gets wrapped around you and it feels like it's got a monster trying to drag you down. But it feels really, really refreshing. Like this summer has been full of sort of like swimming and it just feels like we're swimming, cycling and eating our way through the summer, which I really love. It's a good summer. Yeah. <laughs> So this is, we've come away because it's Sarah's birthday and um, I've brought lots of decorations and some presents to give to her, but she's in the tent. So I'm gonna try and stealthily decorate the tent while she's asleep in it without her noticing. So we left in quite a rush and it turns out that the birthday decorations I brought were Happy New Year One Happy Birthday, this is good and then 21 today and <laughs> Sarah's not 21, she's 29 Happy New Year. It says what? Happy New Year. I just saw the happy and I thought it said happy birthday. <laughs> Thank 
chicken, avo, toast, mushroom, and tomato. Oh yeah. Good? We've uh, paddle boarded loads, we've kayaked uh, quite a bit, quite water rafted. I don't think we've like rowing boated, is that the, the verb of it? Rowed? Rowed on a boat, on a rowing boat. I don't think we've ever gone on a canoe. That's just so nice, especially here where it's just loads of little like waterways and slips that you can just go and explore. Um, and there's so much space, this is a three person canoe that um, it would be such a, like amazing way to do a trip. Um, although we don't have a canoe, uh, we also don't drive, so getting to like a waterway would be quite tricky. But um, maybe at some point in the future, if we did, future adventures. So we're about three hours in, and we definitely have the paddling sucks. I'd say almost professional. But we're struggling to find anywhere for lunch. I don't know if you can hear me. We're um, trying to find somewhere to eat. We got moved on from a private mooring. Um, so we're trying to find a little... By a spoil spot. <laughs> by a spoil spot. Find a little bank to um, eat our special lunch. And um, yeah, so far, taking a while. We have found a spot to moor. Um, took us a long time actually. Yeah, I think we're both getting mighty hungry. So we are very, we were considering going like really far back on ourselves as soon as the start, but then we spotted this spot, so we're very happy. Uh, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. I'm not gonna lie, I um, I ate a lot of vegan camembert, and now I feel really crazy. So <laughs> Sarah's leading, leading from the front here. Perfect. First time canoeing. Yeah, it was really really fun. What did you uh, What did you think? I found it really relaxing, really, um, and it's made me want to do like a, a trip on it. I just like the size of it has made me want to think like, oh, we can put stuff in it, so we can easily do a trip on one. But yeah, it was really really relaxing. I what, loved it. What about did you find it tiring? I did in part. So like when we were going out, the like wind was behind us. And then coming back, there were some parts where it was quite windy and we were going against the current as well. So that was quite like tough, like on my shoulders, uh, which are muscles that I famously don't use very often. So like it did hurt a bit. One thing that surprised me is that we saw a few birds, but not as many as expecting and like no fish. Like, very few yeah, fish. I mean, I didn't see any. I saw a few bugs. I saw there's a fisherman, but not many fish. I did. Maybe the fishermen are too good. Yeah. <laughs> Now the sun is setting on my 29th birthday and I think it's been, I can safely say, one of the best birthdays ever. Waking up to Happy New Year, <laughs> sides hanging at the bottom of the tent and then having like a <laughs> happy 21st balance as well. And then having a special camping breakfast, canoeing, just like all day in the sunshine. I have some mighty burn lights to show for it. 
and then now we are having a barbecue and having a drink just as the sun's setting and it's perfect. Last night uh, there was so much lightning um, and it was so from about 2 to 4.30 maybe um, I don't think I've ever seen so it's just so many flashes just almost constantly just like these like bright flashes but it's quite far away so there's only rumbles of thunder um, and I think if it was straight over us it would have been really really heavy I don't think I've ever seen so much lightning in my life so it's quite nice it's already cool though like the air's thinner we're gonna um, make some brekkie in the tent it's the first time we've had this tent for four months four months yeah. Four months, this is the first time we've had to make breakfast inside the tent. Mm. Mm. Uh, it's been raining, it's more rain forecast, but there's no, no thunder and lightning forecast. So we're going paddling. We're pretty new to paddle boarding and We've used this individually, but we've only got one, so we're going to try two of us on it. We've seen people doing it with dogs, so how different can it be with two humans? Yeah, shoe strapped in. Shoe strapped to the back, and he to the front. I'm having a great time. <laughs> I don't know if this is the most efficient technique, but we're still afloat and we're moving, for moving forwards. <laughs> We've switched and um, I'm really not enjoying it. It feels like Josh is, I don't know if it felt this bad for him. It feels like he's not keeping balance very well. Yeah, obviously like whenever I, I'm not gonna do it, but whenever. Yeah, yeah, I don't want you to shake it. But yeah, I feel like every single time you paddle that like you're, you're not very balanced. So it feels like you're gonna fall in. Now it's starting to rain. Very slightly. Very slightly. It's quite muggy though, it's still muggy. Um, we are due more rain, so we thought the same thing. Thank you, Captain. Oh, you're welcome, Skipper. Thank you, Captain. Second Captain. Yeah. Captain's mate. After such a long, hot summer, the rain had brought the life and colour back to the landscape. But it wasn't long before it all dried up again, and this meant we were going seal spotting. We are coming to the end of our 
four days a week. This is the first time that we have stayed in one spot for almost exactly three years. <laughs> three years ago on Sarah's wow. birthday before, we were in the French Alps uh, when we, we cycled to the French Alps and we stayed in this one place sixth for a few days. Yeah, normally it's just one night in a place before back we move back on. Back. So this has been like a real treat. It's felt really relaxing. Uh, and and it, just what we wanted, I think. Yeah, I think we, we love it back to back. Oh yeah, but that it's, gets um, well. That's why we do it so much. <laughs> but it just, it takes it, um, it's exhilarating, but you always get back and you feel exhausted. And I think um, after like a long summer of like back to back trips and- um, Yeah, it was nice, I think like for my birthday, just to have, switch things up a little bit to make it a bit different. So that's sort of why we did it. Um, and it definitely was different. And I think it makes you appreciate the slower pace and then also the intensity and the, fun sort of exhilarating rush of doing things back to back to back in a rush so yeah it kind of like recharges your batteries for when yeah. we do a harder harder trip uh, and then today just watching seals and yeah. the beach was almost empty by the end of it and it was just amazing just oh, it just felt so good mm -hmm. felt so good and also quite an exciting time because we have um very nearly hit a thousand subscribers Yay. which is um big ama milestone amazing makes us so happy that um that we can share our adventures and hopefully help other people um, inspire them to have adventures. So we've been talking lots about videos and what we're wanting to do and we've got lots of really big plans. Yeah, we're so, really enjoying making the videos and we really love hearing from all you guys as well and what you think of the videos, like in the comments and things. So do keep that coming because yeah, it's really inspiring to sort of read what you think of them. Uh, so thanks for joining along so far. And, um, and thanks for sticking around for what's to come. What's to come, yeah. <laughs> cool. We will catch you guys next week.